I wasn't really originally planning on getting this figure because uh, I'm pretty much over the movie line. The only ones I really plan on getting definitely are the Premium Prime and maybe Bumblebee from the Premium line. But since I still don't have Cyber or man, I keep on calling it Cybertron animated uh, Megatron. I just saw this when I went to Myers, so I figured I'd pick it up. So I at least have some sort of Transformer video in the meantime. So got Stockade, all spark power. Let's check them out. All right, I got Stockade in his car mode. Not much to really say about it in this mode. He has a little S7 logos on the doors. It's pretty boring, actually. It's nothing really bad about it. it. Just feels very. It feels hollow. Feels more like a Cybertron figure than a uh, movie line figure, which has been common with some of the later ones. It has these uh, silver pegs on top, which are used for the uh, gimmick for this figure. Has a tiny uh, Decepticon logo on the grill, which I like better than that obnoxious one from Dropkick, where it's all over. The trunk opens a little bit, but all you see is robot parts. Whenever you see it from the side, you can see the uh, part of his leg here, which I really don't care. I really don't even care about this figure much at all. Just I just want to get out of the way. Uh, the only thing that really... I would have much rather seen this be a bigger figure with a lot more detail. Because a lot of... Especially the transformation, it's so simplistic. It, I've seen uh, basic figures with more with a more complicated transformation than this. And even the instruction sheet is smaller, is about the same size as a uh, basic transformer. But for whatever reason, I really like this part. I don't know why. It folds the sides nicely and reveals everything on the inside. It's not really the simplistic part of it, I just like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. It's, it just feels, it's kind of satisfying while transforming it. Am I contradicting myself? Maybe. Just a whole bunch of random thoughts about this toy. So as you see, that really didn't take long at all. And he... Arms are really stupid looking, especially at the straight up position like this. The only way you can make them look remotely good is when you have them in a gun cylinder position like this. But even then you still have these pieces of window on his hand. And this is the only position where you can use his rapid punch. Hold on a second, I'm going to have to change the battery, it's about to die. Okay, sorry about that. Just right then I was talking about whatever windows or st stuff and had the little battery flashing, but lucky I have, I have a ton of spare batteries. But oh well, I haven't really tried on this arm. Yep, both arms, both hands uh, do the little super punch thing. Hmm. And apparently that will come off pretty easy. I was just barely putting in on any pressure. It has the Decepticon symbol on his thigh right there, just right above the uh, Allspark blue. His face looks a lot like Wheeljack, I find. Except without those uh, things on the side. 
Besides looking rather gorillish in his arm in his um, robot mode, this whole section, even though I really do like the transformation part where it's uh, where the splits in half, this whole section it, it just looks not very puzzle. It looks very blocky, especially with this huge. He has a huge back and a very tiny chest. This is his chest and this is his back, which is weird. I do like his hands. They're kind of cool. I mean, there's nothing really special about them. And you can't, I can't really show you because this figure is so dark. But it's a lot better than, a lot better than, uh, definitely a lot better than the Starscream one. Finger joints are really stiff, but it's better than just like a, they could have easily just gone with a closed fist since uh, this is a punching figure, which would have made sense. But the fact that they went through the effort to give him a kind of a cool looking hand. Really, uh, I'm a, I appreciate that. I just wish they could have done that for some other figure. Oh, like, oh, Starscream. That would have been awesome if they could have done that. I really don't recommend this figure. If you're really only going to get a couple of the, uh, maybe if you're going to get the best out of these all spark power figures, I would get... And mine, and if you could get the black version of Cinerator, because I, I I've seen these, the Cliff Jumper and Camshaft. I have no intentions of getting those. I don't like just repaints just to resell them. Out. I only like repaints that they really improve upon the figure, such as a Capture Bumblebee. But I'd really pass on him. He's very boring. He feels he looks like a Cybertron figure. Doesn't really look like it'll belong to the movie line. It's kind of cartoonish robot mode. Alright, but um, hopefully, I mean, it's been, let's see, I bought it on the 11th. Today's the 26th. Yeah, it's been been a while since I bought my anime Megatron. I still haven't got so hopefully it'll be my next video. Because hopefully it'll be here tomorrow, knock on wood. It probably won't. I really don't care how long it takes. I just hope I get it. Alright, enough of me complaining. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.